So, the weirdest thing just happened. Um, I don't, I don't think that people really understand how God works. I really don't. Um, mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways. Have you ever heard that? I'm sure you've heard that. Um, very, very mysterious. Um, yeah. I have a feeling that he wants... He wants us to almost look crazy. Uh, cause like, that's just... Uh, let me, let me just tell you what happened. Um, so... I, I don't usually do this route, um, but a lot of times when I do this route, I bump into this guy, and we always have, like, a positive interaction. Um, I'm not gonna say exactly what happens, but we always have a positive interaction. He's, like, he's, like, a, a homeless guy, and he's, like... He's, it's like he's got, like, missing teeth. Like, you know, the whole homeless guy thing. Um, and it's like, he, when he talks, it's very scattered. You know? Like, uh... It's like you'll, you'll pick bits and pieces of what he's saying and understand. But it's very scattered. And he's always mentioning, oh, I'm, I'm a Vietnam War veteran, stuff like that. Um... Like, that's, that's about the, the main part that you get when he's talking to you. And, like, he'll even, he even showed me a picture once, like, proving it, basically. Um, and it's like... So, he, he prays for me when he bumps into me and we have these interactions. And it's like he forgets who I am, um, like, after... And then he sees me again. And then he, he, like, today he's, like, very scattered, um, sounding. Um, you know, uh, uh, something, 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 200, uh, and then he said, uh, he said, he mentioned birthday, and, uh, he's, like, during our interaction, he said, have a nice trip. Um, what? <laughs> it's like he, he knows. And so I, I wonder, I, I really do wonder, because I, I feel like I, I should have driven past him by now. I don't see him anymore. Um, it says in the Bible, um, you never know when you're entertaining angels. And I don't understand why he seems to know that my birthday is, like, coming up and that I'm going on a trip. He said, have a nice trip. And he prayed for me. He's like, oh, Joshua, like the Bible. He prayed for me. He was, like, blessing me, you know, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And it's like, wow. Um, like, it's... There's, I don't, I don't know, um, yeah, um, I don't know, <laughs> I, I guess, always, uh, keep yourself, um, you know, like, don't assume just because someone appears crazy that they're not an angel, or... Like, you never know. That's that's what I believe. It's true. That's what the Bible's saying. Um, um, yeah, and... There's other things I keep seeing, like... Uh, the song Locked Away. Um, uh, you know, if I got locked away and we lost it all today, tell me, honestly, would you still love me the same? Um, I love to sing that song, but... I'm just leaving this down here. This this thing sucks. Um, this, in this car. Um, so yeah. Um, 
it's like things are just um yeah locked away uh the whole song is about like you know if i got locked away would you still love me the same like you know going to jail stuff like that and i keep seeing signs about jail and i had a dream the other day about um i'm driving on the highway and uh it's it says like as i'm driving down the highway it's like there's an exit sign and it says vengeance and it's like um vengeance um so those of us who are christians know that we don't take vengeance into our own hands that is uh god does the venging for us so like we basically get um beat down beat up um walked on uh insulted uh framed um every all these terrible things happen to us and we just have to be like um you know pray for them god bless them and stuff like that and uh, basically if like our our kind loving rebukes and our kindness doesn't get to them then it's up to god if if it's for them to um be god you know, like, be, uh, brought to repentance and humble. Um, so, yeah, uh, there was a, there was another verse that, that, uh, like, the word Kobach showed up on, on, like, on the, the side of the road. I'm like, what is Kobach? And in the dream, I looked up, uh, um, I looked up on my ceiling and uh it was that verse in Luke about like God wanting to gather together as like a, a hen gathers their chicks but you weren't willing to come um that's kind of like okay um it just implies to me that God wants people that are too stubborn um to come um, but ultimately, if God wills for them to be saved, he's going to make some things happen. He's going to humble them. It happened all throughout the Bible. Um, and like Jeremiah, for example, um, they thought, like he, I just, I saw that he went to, um, I feel, I feel like how Jeremiah feels. Like he's, he's told to, okay, write down these words, write them to the king king burns him he's like we're not gonna repent we're gonna keep doing wicked things and then god tells him to do it again write it down again uh, he, i think he burns it again and then he takes jeremiah throws him in prison uh starves him um and uh i think eventually that same king got like his eyes cut out and like just like destroyed basically um and that's what happens when you come against God's chosen. It's like, eventually, you're going to get what comes to you. That's just like, it's common sense. What goes around comes around. We all know that. Everyone knows that's how it goes. Um, eventually. Um, and so, how crazy did Jeremiah and like all the prophets sound when they're saying, oh, this destruction is going to come to Jerusalem. And then, it, how many years pass? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, um, maybe more, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And then it happens. Well, how long were people telling them, oh, you're crazy. Uh, don't listen to that crazy Jeremiah. Don't listen to that crazy, uh, whoever, Old Testament prophet. Um, and then it happens and then you're like oh I wish I would have listened to that crazy Old Testament prophet because then maybe I wouldn't be kicked out of my home living in Babylon right now um yeah uh and, and like the story of Hosea for example in regards to like the, the jail thing um maybe I'm just supposed to talk about Hosea but I don't think that's what this is about um but Hosea um, has the Gomer as his wife. She goes out, sleeps with other men, has babies with other men. 
prostitute. He was told to marry a prostitute. Um, and, uh, obviously that's hurtful and stuff. And, and God uses it as, like, an example to say, like, these aren't my children, um, to, like, to, like, Israel and stuff. Um, and, uh, eventually, like, she gets, like, either put into slavery or in, put in, like, prison, jail, something like that, and then he pays it off. Um, Hosea is told to pay it, pay it off and get her out and love her like his wife and, uh, just go on with life happily ever after like that. And that's like, oh, how come no one ever talks about this story? It's like, I don't understand why no one talks about this story in the Bible. I'm like the only one. And I talk to other Christians about it. They're like, oh, what did Hosea do? It's like, how do you not know? I mean, they, they know basically every other story in the Bible except for Hosea. I'm like, how does that happen? They call him a minor, minor prophet, so I guess maybe that's how it happens. But everyone can quote um, in the Mandela Effect community, like, my people uh, perish for lack of knowledge instead of uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, which is what, it, is what it says now. But they'd never actually read the story. And I just, I gotta wonder why. And I think it's, honestly, there's, there's a hardness of heart even in a lot of Christians where they don't understand what love really means. Um... Like, we were all Gomer. We were all Gomer. Sleeping around with with uh, other people, you know, like, worshipping other gods, uh, watching porn, um, doing drugs, uh, stealing, whatever it is that, that you did before. Lying. Um, false witness. All these things. Um, and so, like it's just, like, a good lesson for us all, like, we, like, oh, the only one who's gonna love us in the midst of all of that, uh, is God, basically, because human hearts are, are cold, like, they've gone so cold now, it's, uh, ridiculous, um, like, people don't know how to love, um, they really don't, like, they think that, oh, well, loving is all based on this condition, um, are you, um, are you this or that? Um, are you fitting into all my categories in order to be loved, or are you lacking in one area or another? Um, and so that's a problem. Um, God's going to expose it, um, and he's going to work through those of us who understand it because we've been drugged through the mud in order to learn that lesson. Um, hopefully the rest of you can learn it. Yeah.